Good evening, everyone. Remembering the person, not the crime, that claimed the life of a 17-year-old girl. The grisly murder of Bianca Devins in Utica made national headlines last summer. Her boyfriend, Brandon Clark of Cicero, pleading guilty to killing her and posting photos on social media right afterwards. Tonight, though, Devins' family remembering Bianca. News Channel 9's Josh Martin was in Utica tonight. So we're going to be brave. She will live forever. One year ago, Bianca Devins, who was just 17 years old, was killed in Utica, murdered by her boyfriend. This community shocked and heartbroken over her death and what followed. Family and friends gathering for a vigil Monday night to remember her and continue to preserve her legacy. Well, the support we've gotten from this central New York community over the past year has been absolutely amazing. It shows the heart and the love of all the people in this area. We are so grateful. It's the strength that you've all given us that has helped this family get through this very troublesome and tragic year. Family and friends describe Devins as a talented artist and a loving daughter, sister, and cousin. Candles lit by so many here at this vigil. And the group sang along to one of Bianca's favorite songs as a child. Up the magic dragon by the sea. The family plans on gathering here in the future to honor Bianca. They have a college scholarship set up in her name for students who pursue psychology with a focus on helping children like Bianca wanted to do. In Utica, Josh Morton, News Channel 9. Josh, thank you. Brandon Clark is set to be sentenced later this month. In a statement, the Devons family saying, quote, we eagerly await the sentencing of Bianca's murderer and believe he should receive the maximum sentence allowed by law for his actions in taking Bianca from us.